my family and I, uh, you know, grew up in Denmark. Uh, we lived in a country where, albeit we weren't always welcomed as part of that country, but our rights were respected. And if anything ever happened to us, we could always go and find justice through the system. Um, then we moved to Bahrain and that completely changed. I never knew what it meant to live in a country where you did not have freedom of expression. There was an invitation for me to go and testify at the Human Rights Council. Um, and I didn't want to leave because the protests were still undergoing and I wanted to be there in case anything happens. Uh, but my father explained to me how important it is to have a voice on the outside just as much as it was having people participate on the inside. Especially that I had been a witness uh, to the attacks that happened on the 17th of February 2011 when the roundabout was attacked at 4 a.m. in the morning and I was present there myself. And so he convinced me and I traveled. And of course after that the GCC forces entered Bahrain. And I knew going back to Bahrain most likely meant that I would be imprisoned, if not tortured and otherwise. We depend on people like activists within the amnesty community um, to really help us bring our voices forward, to make that noise, which gives us importance internationally. Always remember that you may be one voice to yourself, but when you use that voice, uh, especially in places like Amnesty International, you're amplifying it and you're standing together with thousands of other people who really care about the very same issues.